In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to break this new police chest inside of Pet Simulator 99 that came with update 13. And it's part of the new police event where you can actually break this to actually get more prison keys and also get enough coins to actually hatch this new egg, which can land you a huge prison cat. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out at the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. So the best way to actually break this is, you know, if you want to go to your inventory. And first off, we're going to start off with the enchants. So as you can see, this is my loadout right here. Uh, first of all, we have the super magnet because, you know, with this, I can pretty much collect loot from anywhere on the map. I don't have to be just here. Uh, if you don't have this, because, I mean, this is way too expensive, you could probably swap it out with, like, you know, a super landing bug or, uh, you know, maybe, like, uh, for like this happy pet. This is also not too bad because I heard it's pretty OP against uh, the uh, prison keys uh, and actually makes lets you collect a lot more. Uh, also, we have the speed 5 book, which is going to increase your pet speed, which I think is pretty OP. Uh, also, critical is really, you know, you're, you're going to need critical, you know, against, you know, the chest. Uh, you'll obviously also need the, uh, the treasure hunter book. And also the strong pets book because uh you know as you can see my pets they aren't doing too much damage so you need a lot of you know strong stuff so you need like strong enchants strong potions etc and uh, you know that's pretty cool but the, probably the most important thing here is going to be chest breaker because because the damage you deal to chest is increased by 200 percent which is extremely op this is definitely the most important uh item you need it's worth like 9 million right now and then lastly you need the corruption because this also increases damage you actually do to uh Due to like any pretty much anything i mean including the chest as you can see the chest is like black right now which means that it's corrupted and the pets are going to do more damage to it now moving on to the potions you're going to need a bunch of treasure hunter uh potions also cocktail isn't a bad of an option either you can use that as well one of the most important things though is going to be the damage potion if you want to use up some of those also a coin potion if you want because you know if you don't have it and your loadout here you definitely want to put a coin potion here uh, to actually increase the amount of coins you get uh, if you don't have it in your loadout. If you don't, if you already have it in your loadout, you do not really need, need that. Uh, and then, yeah, moving on, we have the flags. Flags, you can actually place, you like, you know, maybe, you know, you think you can't place flags because there's a chest in the middle. Well, it's going to show right here in the corner. Uh, in my server, we have a magnet flag. I don't know who placed that there. Definitely don't use magnet flags. Uh, if you plan on, if you don't, have, if you don't have a book, just stay in the area. Like it's not really that hard. And I believe magnet flags don't even collect drops, so that's really, really not OP at all. The coin flag you don't want. Uh, the thing that I recommend the most is either the exotic treasure flag from the previous last area, and also a bunch of shiny flags or rainbow flags. These ones are also pretty cool uh, and pretty good options. Also, the strength flag is all right if you don't have any three of these. Which I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have any three of these because uh, they're really all, all of them are cheap apart from the exotic flag, which is all, almost like 400k. But uh, the, the strength flags they're pretty extremely cheap, so definitely uh, use those if you don't have any of the other ones. Buffs, on the other hand. You want to use some of them like the glitch drive is uh actually the glitch drive is not good uh, i mean don't unless you want coins then uh you can use that but definitely you want the rainbow fruit you also want to use you know your squeaky toys your toy balls you want to use as well you want to use toy bones and then you want to also use up all of the uh the fruits they also extreme they're really op by a lot the orange one you don't really need as like as much because you're not you're not growing for diamonds uh, but the rest of these you definitely want to eat the max up and then lastly for the pets you just want like you know your at least uh prison x models as your best pet and then try to get exclusive pets if you can obviously i mean huge pets are way too expensive but you know try to get at least uh, a full team of like these prison rainbow axolotls because those are like not too hard one 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 percent for me so i mean if i were to buy like you know grind this i'd probably like get one like uh, yeah as you can see i just got one right there and so with that the police chest inside of the police hq should be much easier to collect but if you want to know the most rigged pet and pet steamer 99 make sure to check out this video right here